There's a puddle of water in the way. What's the big deal? Just step over it. It's shallow. Can you carry me for a bit? Electronic devices are susceptible to water. Fine. Can you carry me too, Commander? If you're not feeling well, I can carry you, Liveran. Never mind then. The ceiling is awfully low. We might have to crawl. Crawling is our specialty. Do you want to go first, Commander? Even if I'm crawling, I might have a hard time squeezing through there. Then just lie down. I'll pull you. Okay, thanks. You make it sound like she's a piece of luggage. I'm surprised you were able to find a passable route. None of the scans I conducted found any viable routes. Well, this is what I do for a living. Do you have any tips for me? Sorry, can't go sharing trade secrets. Gotta make my money somehow. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. Not even changing to night vision helps. Hmm. <laughs> what should I do? Commander, could you hold my hand? Ow! Who just slapped the back of my hand? All right. It's time for me to shine once again. Pardon the pun. Twinkle vision, activate! You do realize each of our phones has flashlights on them, don't you? Sure, but isn't it cooler when I do it with my eyes? more to the left. Okay, no threats detected. Never thought we'd use the operation device like this. The camera provides a surprisingly good view of your surroundings. It's also small enough to attach to your ear, so I can check narrow areas that a person wouldn't be able to cross through. The only reason this usually doesn't happen is because it's typically aligned to match the commander's POV. What would happen if we spun the operation device around? <laughs> then I'd get pretty darn dizzy. Anyway, I'm not detecting any crystals. You can cross. Ugh, this is gonna be another tight fit. <sighs> Tell me about it. Neon, you should go first. You'll be able to pass through more easily than us. Namira no ilo